Good morning, welcome to a new vlog. It is Friday and it's a bit muggy outside. I'm starting to buy into the fall weather, the staying indoors weather. It's kind of coinciding with my acceptance of the slow girl phase of my life right now. I'm recovering from a little burnout from the last week that built up over the past couple months so I'm kind of like into the fall weather right now and being cozy and being okay with staying inside and watching movies and not being super productive and how cute is this skims set these are these like little boxers and then like super soft tee I wear them at night as pajamas are you the cutest little momo that there is are you the cutest little doggy I have some coffee brewing in the coffee maker. If you can hear any background noise, I am so sorry. There is construction going on in the house next door. They just sold it and they sold it so fast that I immediately knew it was like a developer who bought it. Used to be a real estate agent for less than a year, so that's where that knowledge comes from. <laughs> We're not gonna talk about that era. I'm just going to have my greens and my cycle balance Chinese herbs for my hormones. You will see me wearing this sweatshirt a lot in the upcoming videos. I wish I had another one so I could change it up, but it's also one of those things like the moment you get a new sweatshirt that you like love, you just don't want to take it off. So I apologize if it seems like I never, I apologize if it seems like I never take off this sweatshirt, but you're going to be seeing a lot of it. JS Health Greens and it also has marine collagen in it, which we love. Oh my God, shut up. I don't know what people did before frothers because they're so helpful and they just mix your beverages so much better. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear any of what I'm saying because of the noise. Cheers until my coffee is done. Sorry for the lighting. This is where my coffee is made so we're going in with a hot coffee today. I'm going to try this Nut Pods pumpkin spice dairy-free creamer. First, we're gonna do a splash of almond milk. Okay, creamer. And then the last thing I'm gonna add is some of this English toffee sweet leaf drops. I feel like it could be kind of good, and the creamer's unsweetened, so I'm just gonna do one dropper full. Give her a try. Mm-hmm. That is pretty bomb. So today's Friday, and usually I take Fridays off. I do work on the weekends typically, so I have a really weird schedule. That's one of the benefits of being a content creator and having your own business is you get to make your own hours. But I do work on weekends and that's my choice. I've been doing a lot of introspection on my business and on myself lately. I'm also in my menstrual phase. So that's kind of like the theme of the menstrual phase is to be more introspective. I really thought I was going to work today. Like I, my brain was telling me full blown 100% like you need to work today because you want to keep this train of thought going but then I realized like in therapy like I have been really frustrated and just a bit burnt out by the amount of work I was doing and I'm just confused now like should I work today or should I rest and my mind chatter was so loud that I could not feel whether my body wanted to truly work or rest. I think that's a, something that a lot of people struggle with is how to really trust your intuition and know like what you really want. My mind chatter was so loud telling me to work and that confused me because I was like, does it mean I do really wanna work or do I really want to rest? I just wanted to say all this because I think something that is extremely helpful is A, I started reading The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. Tolle, I'm not sure how to pronounce his last name. And he kind of 
talks about how our mind and our thought process is separate from our consciousness. So I'm not going to get into all of that, but basically uh -huh. reading, I've only read like the first chapter of that book, but it kind of got me thinking like, there is a consciousness inside of me that's separate from this constant stream of thought. And the only way to find out what I truly wanted to do today, whether that was work or rest, was to quiet my mind and then see what my body was truly going to be energized by. The only thing that truly calms my mind is meditation and quiets my mind. And so that's what I did. I did a meditation. And at the end of the meditation, I asked myself like, do I want to work? And I just paid attention to how my body reacted to that question. And I immediately, immediately fell just myself shrink. Like I felt the tiredness in my mind of how working today would feel. And then I asked myself, do I want to play and rest? And immediately I felt that lightness. And this also has to do with my human design as a manifesting generator. But I think it's kind of the same concept for everyone. When you're faced with constant mind chatter, it can be so loud that you don't know what you truly feel. And you need to quiet your mind in order to, for a second, stop the, conscious, the constant stream of thoughts and feel what you want. Anyways, that was a little rant about that, but it was just such a big moment for me to be able to quiet my mind and then realize like yeah my cons that stream of thought can be detrimental to me and not have my best interest in time at times and so now here i am having this wonderful breakfast chocolate pancakes blueberry compote eggs i am going to enjoy this and we'll see where the day takes me Everybody. It's Saturday and I had a very refreshing day off yesterday But I do need to work today. I will take Sunday off So I'm really committing to being firm with my work Life boundaries and taking like a firm two days off, but I just made some buckwheat pancakes with blackberry and blueberry compote since it's the last day of my menstrual cycle menstrual cycle anytime i talk about cycles if i haven't announced that i've gotten my period back it's quote unquote what would be my menstrual cycle Whew. anyways i just posted that recipe on my tiktok and instagram highly recommend you go check it out it's so good super clean super delish but yeah today is going to be a work day i think well first i need to wash the dishes but then after that i think i'm going to do a quick little yoga workout. I want to get back into moving my body more consistently. I have kind of fallen off a little bit ever since I got stitches on my hand. I fell off my consistent workout train and I was also kind of burnt out. So 
that kind of deterred me from working out further. And then I'm going to head to a cafe to work. I find that with my human design, I'm my most creative. I like to work the most when I'm out and about. I go to a cafe typically when I really want to get those like real creative juices flowing and like have a good time working, which, you know, you might think like, how can you have a good time working? Well, I love my job. Thus, I can have a great time working because I love my job. And I don't mean to brag. I'm just saying like, it's something to think about for you maybe if you don't ever enjoy working. My camera is going to die, but I just wanted to pop on and share a little update. And I guess I'll see in a little bit. It is now 5.23. I didn't really do anything all day, so I didn't, it, there was nothing to vlog, but basically I'm eating dinner now. It's 5 p.m. I think I just said that, but I'm finishing up some of my white bean and kale soup. Today is my last day on my menstrual phase, so I'm trying to finish this soup so that I can start making new recipes for my follicular stage. And I'm just heating some oil on the pan right now to cook some scallops, which are also menstrual phase specific foods. Where I get like which foods to eat during which phase is primarily coming from the book In the Flow by Elisa Viti. Viti? So she is like an expert on cycle syncing. And then of course I do my own research as well. If you kind of know the way your hormones ebb and flow during your cycle, you can kind of know what foods to support that time of the cycle. And it's not a religion, like there are no strict rules, but I try and focus on eating foods that are specifically going to support the time of my cycle for a majority of my meals and then the rest of the day or week you know just do your best like eat what you want still i'm not going to only eat scallops for <laughs> my entire menstrual phase if i don't want to like if i do then amazing but if i want to eat like salmon one of the days and it's not like a big deal people get very uptight about their own rules when like there's no point in that in my opinion, I think that you need to take care of your mind, body, and spirit. And if you're neglecting your mind and your spirit or your soul for your body, then everything's out of balance and it's just going to end up hurting you more than it does helping you in the end. So I'm excited to go grocery shopping tomorrow. Well, it, it just keeps your life kind of fun and fresh, having like different phases and like getting to focus on different foods depending on the time of the month. I think it's so exciting. <laughs> Maybe I'm the only one who feels that way, but I love a change up in food and I feel like cycle syncing kind of like helps me do that, but it limits the decision making so I, I, I can actually like make decisions, which we love, we all know, or in my experience, the less decisions I have to make, the more easily my life flows. So I think that's what cycle syncing is all about too. Like just having your life flow and in the meantime, like you don't get bored of your food. You can take a break from working out, yada, yada, yada. I'm sorry for the lack of interesting things in this video, but maybe tomorrow I'll have something more exciting to offer because the rest of the day is just gonna be me chilling on the couch and watching movies because it's a gloomy day for the first time in a long time. I've probably mentioned this like 3,000 times. I think that's gonna be it for today, for today's part of the vlog and I'll see you tomorrow. Today I have gone grocery shopping, so we're gonna do a little grocery haul. Today is the first day of my follicular phase, which I would put into air quotations, but I'm holding my little doggy. So maybe, should I put her down? 
Oh my god, look how cute she is. Look at my little girl. I love you. I'm wearing the same sweater once again. So I already apologized in advance about wearing it all the time, but here we are again. Bang, today's my first day of my follicular phase, which I just said, but I will do a grocery haul, but it is already 11 a.m. and I haven't eaten breakfast yet. So I'm gonna do that really quickly. Just make some oats because oats are one of the best follicular phase foods. And then today I actually have something kind of exciting that I completely forgot about. I'm gonna cut my hair a little shorter. So when I originally cut it short, it was like, like that. So you can already see how much it has grown. Oh my God, also don't look at my pimple right there. I'm ready to cut it again so that it's a little shorter again. So that's what I'm gonna do today. It's another day off for me today, which I am absolutely loving the work-life boundaries I'm putting in place for myself. I will show you the grocery haul right after breakfast. Here is my breakfast, some oats with pumpkin seeds and a little cookie butter from Chroma Wellness. So this is my first breakfast of my follicular phase and some eggs and a little dandelion root tea. And this tastes exactly like coffee in my opinion. And then eggs are also amazing in your follicular phase. This is today's grocery haul. I feel like there's a lot less produce than last time, but I have the produce, most of the produce I need already. So it's just stocking up on other ingredients to make my recipes. This is what I wanna call the follicular based ingredients side. So I have green lentils, pumpkin seeds, which are also part of the seed cycling phase I'm in. So pumpkin seeds and flax seeds are the two seeds you want to eat during your follicular phase for seed cycling. Lettuce is a big follicular phase food. So I'm going to make Caesar wraps with this lettuce. And then we've got some butter beans or lima beans. Pomegranates, pomegranates are another follicular, follicular phase food. And then this, these are the wraps I'm going to use for my Caesar salad wraps. I also was going to buy artichoke hearts, but then we already had those at home. So I did not need to buy that, but that was another one of the follicular phase foods. And then, I was going to buy lemons, which are another follicular phase food, but we already had those. So produce looks a little less than usual, but that's because I already ended up having a lot of the things that I needed. For general, just groceries, I have a sweet potato, avocado, onion, wild caught salmon, some dried tart cherries. Oh, this is actually a follicular phase food, so I'm going to put that over there. Restocked on my eat dough, healthy cookie dough. I have not tried either of these flavors before. And then this cinnamon roll flavor, which I have not tried. I'm so excited to try. So then coconut milk for recipes that I cannot remember right now. Chickpeas for my Caesar wrap. I'm gonna make like a crunchy chickpea Caesar salad wrap coconut cream for a pasta recipe I'm going to make with the these gnocchi and then my absolute favorite strawberry cocoa june the best dairy-free yogurt my favorite almond milk califia unsweetened vanilla and yeah that's all I got my appointment is at 1 30 so I'm just going to put all these groceries away and then time to say goodbye to at least that much hair a little shorter i'm fully in the bob era it feels so much better you can just tell how much sleeker and just what an inch off the bottom does oh, i feel like a new woman
nighttime routine is complete. I did my skincare as you saw. Room is prepped for the night. Blue light blocker glasses on. Blue light blocking hydrating mist is on. And I am now ready to read my book and then go to bed. So that is going to be the end of this week's vlog. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in a new one next week.